Welcome back, guys. So today we're going to start with uh, Ampere's Law and how that relates to finding the magnetic field. Um, in electrostatics, this was parallel to Gauss's Law. So uh, let's get this problem started and we'll see how to apply it. The statement reads, A steady current I flows down a long cylindrical wire of radius A. Find the magnetic field, both inside and outside the wire. If A, the current is uniformly distributed over the outside surface of the wire, and B, the current is distributed in such a way that J is proportional to S, where J is the volume current density, and, the, and S is the distance from the axis. So a quick look at the diagram. We see that we have a wire of radius A, and the current is traveling down the center line axis or longitudinal axis, whichever way you wish to define it. So things to know for this problem, Ampere's law, which is a closed integral B dot DL is equal to mu naught I enclosed, very similar to Gauss's law. And the current can be found by uh, integrating the current density over the respective uh, surface area. And uh, that can be enclosed or otherwise, but generally written as enclosed in the text. All right, so how do we apply these to solve these, uh, these scenarios? The Amphirian loop, which is now the parallel to the Gaussian surface, is a loop that encloses the uh, moving or the steady state current for the scenario. In this case, a loop works because um, we're a wire and it encloses everything pretty evenly, and we know what a loop, a circular loop will look like, which is uh, the circumference two pi s, which we see in the next line. And uh, all that's left to do is to now solve this for b by dividing by two pi s. Um, once we have this general form of b equal mu naught i over two pi s, we can now find the uh, cl enclosed current for each of these scenarios. So for S less than A, um, the current enclosed is zero because we're inside the wire and they said that all the current was moving on the outside of the wire. So if we go slightly larger and the, make the loop outside of the wire, then the current enclosed is just the current that we measure. So that's just equal to I. Putting these together, B equal zero for uh, S less than A and it also equals mu naught i over 2 pi s in the phi hat direction for s greater than a. Again, we get the direction using the right hand rule. All right, so moving forward. For part b, what we have to do is find um, the proportionality constant since we know that j is proportional to s, the distance away from the center axis, uh, which says that j is equal to ks. So we need to find the current in order to find what this constant is and then we can find what the current density is for any enclosed region. So I is equal to the uh, integral, in this case, double integral, since it's the volume over surface, volume current density over surface. And we see that we get um, 0 to 2 pi, 0 to A for Ks, which is J, times the dA element, which is S, dS, d theta. These are integrals you've seen before throughout electrostatics. We know that we get 2 pi from theta, and we get, um, in the normal cylindrical coordinate system, and we get a cubed over 3 for the radial side. And solving this for k gives us 3i over 2 pi a cubed. So now if we enclose it, we can put bars over the s's and execute the same thing, because we don't know how far we're going we're just going to S, which is what the Amphirian loop will determine. So uh, that leads us, again, with the same integral setup, just with S bars, at a, and instead of going from 0 to A, we're going from 0 to S, leaving us with K 2 pi S cubed over 3. Then we plug K in from what we just found in the general sake of the current, and we see that the current enclosed is just the ratio of the uh, radius S to the radius of the wire A, and we've seen this before with the Q uh, enclosed dealing with the electrostatics. So this kind of ratio is not something that we haven't seen before. 
Um, so now we need to apply this to what we found from part A with the inferior loop, um, which looks to be misspelled. There shouldn't be an H in it. Um, but that told us that B was equal to mu naught I enclosed over 2 pi S. However, the enclosed current for S less than A is just what we found. I enclosed is equal to whatever S is that we wish to set the uh, amphirian loop to. Um, the ratio of S to A, both cubed, uh, times I. But the, Q, the current enclosed for S greater than A just has all the current up to the boundary itself at A. So that's just equal to the total current I. Again, that makes sense, and we see that we have a ratio of the total field inside and a uh, the whole field outside, again, in the fiat direction.